This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, September the 6th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. It looks like summer is holding tough as we enter the early parts of September. The surface map this morning features high pressure over the central U.S. with a weak cold front that is dragging down into the southeastern United States. But that cold front is likely to wash out and uh, we are likely to see slightly drier air come into the Tennessee River Valley over the next couple of days that will limit the shower chances and push those sh shower chances a little further to the south. In the upper atmosphere, uh, we have a trough moving across the Great Lakes, but that trough is not having too much of a southward extent, and we're basically in a ridge pattern, and so that's going to keep us uh, with uh, moist air. So some chance for showers just about each day for the next week or so. The Temperatures this morning generally are in the lower 70s across the area, a little cooler in the northeast parts of uh, Alabama, but uh, still a warm morning across the area. Uh, QPF-wise, not looking at a lot of rain over the next uh, five days, thanks to the nature of the showers. Uh, a lot of focus on the little disturbance that's off the southeast U.S. coast that will be producing a good amount of rain just offshore from uh, the US, uh, southeast U.S. coast. Slight risk of storms, uh, severe storms across the New England area and into the uh, uh, eastern part of Pennsylvania and parts of New Jersey. And then on day two, there's no organized severe thunderstorms forecast, so that's nice to have. Tropics are relatively quiet. We have two areas that we're watching. One is off the uh, southeast coast of the U.S., but uh, not likely to develop into much of anything over the next few days as it drifts slowly to the northeast right along the coastline. And then we have another area just to the southwest of the Cape Verde Islands, but due to dry air over the South Atlantic, it's not likely to develop much. We do have Norbert going on out in the uh, eastern Pacific, and Norbert expected to uh, decrease in intensity over the next couple of days before it turns to the northeast and becomes a depression and comes ashore in the northern Baja area. All right, let's take a look at the 06C GFS model run, and here comes our front that uh, should give us a little bit better chance for showers today than tomorrow, but uh, not a great deal more. Uh, the, most of the showers being driven by the heat of the afternoon. And uh, precipitable water values are up across central Alabama in uh, the one and three quarter to two inch range. So I suspect that uh, you could get a little bit of a downpour in some of those showers, and they're not likely to be moving that much. The, uh, the overall troughiness moves across the Great Lakes pretty quickly, and uh, leaving just a slight amount of troughiness in the area for Sunday. And so once again, I think we see the possibility of scattered showers. And then uh, the uh, precipitable water shows that much of the, the, more, uh, the higher precipitable water values are down across South Alabama, so that is likely to be more of the focus for showers and thunderstorms. Uh, the overall pattern in the upper atmosphere by Monday becomes more of a ridging as, uh, as the troughiness decreases somewhat, and we see that the precipitable water values are still uh, highest across the south part of the state. So once again, can't rule showers out uh, across uh, central Alabama, but uh, probably will be fairly uh, isolated. By the time we reach Tuesday, uh, the ridge is showing signs of developing a little bit more, and we see that still on Wednesday. Not especially strong, but we are watching by Wednesday a nice trough coming across south-central Canada, and that is likely to bring a nice uh, surface low across the Great Lakes with a trailing cold front down into Texas. By Thursday, that trough moving uh, nicely across the Great Lakes area and dragging that front uh, to the southeast. And we see the uh, main impulse moving off to the northeast with the trough dragging back across the central Mississippi River Valley on Friday. And so that's likely to bring a front down into the area. Now, the GFS and the European, I don't have the map for the European, but the GFS and the European showing some differences in timing. And those differences could uh, impact our Friday high school football schedule. Uh, but right now, the GFS is suggesting that we probably would be clear by Friday evening. By Saturday, that trough moves on by, and uh, we should have a little bit better uh, weekend. Looking out into voodoo country, and we do see that the GFS is now suggesting that we're going to be seeing more of a long-wave trough position over the eastern half of the country. We see that around the 16th, and we see that again around the 19th as it keeps that uh, trough, general troughiness over the eastern half of the country.
Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this Saturday. I expect to have the next one posted by 8 a.m. or so on Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on the latest weather.